That must be the ovula. Oh, so it's a girl's house. Oh, no. The oh. Oh. I feel fine today. Well, good evening, ladies, lasses, and lasses, and welcome to the click. You also smell amazing today, especially you, Jake. My God, is that a new deodorant, Jake? Oh, yes, indeed. I am so jealous. I am shivering in my boots. Luckily enough, I'm not wearing any boots today. But anyway, today we're going to look at something absolutely beautiful. We're going to look at a man. No, it's not. Bad Women's Anatomy. Yes, that is it. So, have you ever been bored in a biology lesson? Well, screw school, welcome to Click Academy, where it's always click a clock, and we learn so much. Our brains are becoming so wrinkly and voluptuous. Enjoy. And if you enjoy, remember to cry BYB to the channel, because knowledge, oh yes. Am I like an educational channel yet? I hope not, because that would set the standard for educational material really f***ing low. I like my vajayjay shaved, ladies. Then shave your vajayjay, Daniel. Ooh, I just imagine it like like a small little, little pet creature that just runs after you and stuff. And then you can also have like a couple of ball creatures with like tiny little lumpy legs. Is this a new plush merch? I no, stop, click, stop. C control yourself. Consensual naughties is just naughties. To say that implies there is such a thing as non-consensual naughties, which there isn't. That is just the forced illegal naughties. That is what it needs to be called. There is only naughties or the forced bad naughties. Do not teach people that the forced bad naughties is just another type of naughties. Those are two very separate events. You wouldn't say breathing swimming and non-breathing swimming. You would say swimming and drowning. That is so true. I think language in a lot of instances is overhyped, but in other instances it does hold a lot of power when it comes to clear distinctions. Make distinctions clear, especially when it comes to stuff that hurts people. Anyway, moving on with the May May. My uncle is explaining to me, a final year genetic engineering student, that preferencing a boy child is not sexist because boys carry... <coughs> oh, sorry. The BS got stuck in my throat. Boys carry the most important genetic components of the family line, and a girl's genetic code changes when she is married off to another family. I am in awe. When exactly does this happen? I need to know. I really want to ask your uncle. When is the point when the genetics change? Is it when they do the naughties for the first time? Is it like magically when they put the ring on the finger? It's just like, oh no, my genetic components. Oh God. I am so sorry, bro. She lied about being a virgin, lol. Huh? Did she tell you she lied after? She was unbelievably loose. Bro. Bruh! That's not how the JJs work. Well, honestly, probably uh, good riddance for her sake. <laughs> this is just freaking great. The group chat was a bad idea, lol. Yeah, Lamau. I agree with Blorp, though. Girls are lucky. Their crotch is basically invincible. Uh, what? What the frick does that even mean? If you don't have balls, then it won't hurt if someone kicks you there. I can't tell if you're trolling or not, lol. Huh? Why would I be trolling? You do realize that's like saying your chest is invincible because you don't have boobies, right? <laughs> Testes is not the same as boobies. Men have ribs and muscles on their chest too, so it's not the same thing. All women have done there is a hole for peeing and the naughties. What? Those are two separate openings. There isn't just one hole, you dumb dumb. No, there isn't. Look it up. You'll find out who the real dumb dumb is. Why? Are you, you can't use that as a gotcha moment. You can't say like, just Google it when you are the one who is wrong. Why didn't you just Google it yourself first before using that? You're, you're, it's not even a live conversation. You're in a text. You have the time to pause the text. Go to Google, realize that you're wrong, and not use the, haha, just Google it to the other person. It's so easy to avoid looking so silly anyway. Dude, you took biology with me last year. There was an entire chapter on reproductive system and external genitalia. Why would you believe those textbooks that have been using the same stuff for like 50 years? Wait, now the textbooks are wrong? <laughs> Have you ever considered that the reason they're using the same stuff for so long is because it's the right stuff? The info is outdated. Have you ever heard of evolution? <laughs> okay, is this a joke I'm not getting? Because my IQ dropped into the negatives just reading this. Different opinions, man. Since when is human anatomy an opinion? <laughs> so wait, you mean to tell me that this textbook is wrong and you can't own up to the fact that you were wrong without Googling because evolution vastly changed like how our bodies look for what, 50 years? That's not how evolution works. <laughs> Honestly, I'm getting more and more interested in writing a book about this stuff. Just wild theories with clicky thicky. Who would not like that? I would love that. Oh my god, maybe I'm biased, but that's okay. That's okay. Yeah, that for JJ placement is really off. Oh, <laughs> like you would know. I have a for JJ dumb. <laughs> Joining our slash bad women's anatomy to laugh at dum dums who don't know anything about whamans. Realizing that I'm an idiot who knows nothing about uh, the whamans. Well, no, no, the key is to always laugh at people who are worse than you. Wow, is this a really toxic attitude? 
Am I incapable of exciting a woman naughtily? No, no, it's the vajay days that are wrong. Mwah. Today, someone told me about their sister used to work in a hospital that provided abortions. She said she could hear the aborted babies that hadn't died yet crying in the trash cans. If there was ever a reason to pro-life, this is it. Because no child should be thrown out with the trash. That person freaking lied to you. My cousin used to work in a hospital that provided abortions and the wall would ooze green slime. This makes it sound like some horror movie. You know, in like Alien, if you go into an alien nest with like all the eggs and stuff and the slimy stuff. This, this is what that paints in my brain. <laughs> Fun fact, in my first year of college, I overheard a conversation in the student lounge where a girl was saying she was pro-life because she heard that abortions are done by pouring acid in the uterus and the fetus literally tries to run away. I literally, I tried really hard not to laugh. Did they also try to smoke it out? You can just light a little campfire beneath it and just, yeah, you know, it's gonna be perfect. I heard abortions are performed by funneling rabid vulverines into the uterus. That doesn't sound very healthy. <laughs> This is Nicole Kidman. Do you see the long flat back? Women have a natural curve in their spine starting at bra level. To be there so they have become prego, and they'll still be able to stand upright to maintain balance. Biological females also have smaller kneecaps, shorter femur bones, and small proportion of feet. Nicole Kidman is a biological male. I judged based on one photo, a screen cap from a movie, that her was sitting in a slightly bendy back position, and this means she is a man. Sir, Facebook Science Academy misses you. Go back there, please, and stay there. Thank you. Ah, oh, the whammon! If I had extra cash, it would be a sound investment. You would be a 10 plus for sure, but I'm 4 for DDs. <laughs> I don't need the back problems that come with that. Well, then 36 DDs may be better for you. My wife had two surgeries because she wasn't big enough, and now there's a second one, I'm fighting the third. Wow, you want to keep changing your wife? Imagine the beautiful insecurities she has because that doesn't actually tell you. This is such a weird thing to bring up in a random comment section on Instagram. I just... Ah. Uh, uh, are you going to be nude under like most girls are for prom? I'm sorry, no girls would go nude under a fancy dress at prom. I don't know what we're living in. Well, uh, how about at least no panties on? What? That's the undergarment no body will go under the dress. Have you ever heard about a discharge? I think easy access. <laughs> Have you ever heard about a discharge? Well, don't look at the guy's peepee and that won't happen. <laughs> I'll take that as a no. Just stick a adult toy in it and won't discharge. Are you serious? That's like saying, uh, sorry boss, I can't come into work today. Ah, uh, suck it up, just put a cork in it. <laughs> Beautiful solutions. Modern problems require modern solutions. Ah, oh, isn't that right? Jake. Hmm. We can create modern solutions together. Jake. R slash shower thoughts. Men enjoy putting the body part that we pee out of into the body part that women pee out of. <laughs> Edit. If anyone ends up taking a screenshot of this or sharing it, please block my name and pick out. He's a great guy and I don't want to embarrass him. I started dating a younger guy, and when he wanted to fool around, I warned him that the devil's waterfall is flowing. And he said, Wait, wait, you still get periods? I am freaking 34. You know what they say, girl? 34 is the new 86. Woo! People who think the JJs are deformed by a naughty intercourse are the biological equivalent of flat earthers. Oh my god, that's so accurate. Oh! Instead of like cray 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 Facebook mom groups that support flat earth, this is like the cray cray stay at home dad groups that support like wild biological theories. All right, enough is enough. No woman has the autism. Today I decided to try a song I've never heard. Pretty interesting how every woman calling herself artistic has a fine-tuned social understanding of how to act cute and dress well, as well as standard female desire to put pictures and videos of herself on social media. Ah, yes. News just in. Artistic women don't understand clothes, and apparently they don't have the same, like, social interactions or needs that anyone else does. Do you realize how, <laughs> how like, ooga booga this take is? <laughs> it's so bad. Is it okay for a 12-year-old to use tampons? No, Patch. I'm a first-time dad. My daughter is not even at that age. Patch, 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 Patch. Tampons are really only for when they're in their later teens. And after a large peepee has punctured to him, so now they need a cork for the leak instead of a pad for the drip. He slid your panties off and slid his finger down, but to his surprise, no opening could be found. He knew that you were untouched, unbroken. He smirked deviously upon finding out that you were a virgin. He could tell his mind was exploring all the different things he could do to you. This mofo really think we got a tamper evidence seal? People don't have a vajay deal until some peepee -pee comes along and peers it open like a straw poking into Capri Sun. <laughs> <laughs> He is super grossed out about my time of the month. When I asked him what he would do if he had a daughter, he replied, I won't change her diaper that time of the month. Well, it's technically true. This guy I was talking to was saying how women play sports just as well as men. And he said, one time I was refing a women's football game on the full moon and... 
And I was like, uh, why does it matter that it was on a full moon? And he was like, well, uh, you know, the full moon, women on the full moon. And I was like, I don't get it. And he was like, P periods. And he thought all women just get their periods on a full moon. And I thought it was really funny that it confused women with werewolves. <laughs> Lycanthropy is a feminist issue. Jesus. <laughs> Still thinking about the time my 6th grade teacher told the girls they weren't allowed to handle the yeast during a simple class experiment. And when we asked why, he said, Ask your moms. What a moron. This is even close to how people develop yeast infections. What is so, like, I don't know, weirdly sweet about this is they had good intentions, right? But they're just so, like, ignorant to this that it turns into a really bad course of action. Maybe this is a good lesson that a lot of, like, bad actions and bad takes from people come from ignorance and not necessarily being evil people if that makes sense. Uh, maybe that's like a small wholesome twist on this, still incredibly ridiculous. I just learned that girls can pee with a tampon in! Freaking innovative! Ah! It's almost like it's two holes! Seventh grade make tampon cookies for principal after we refuse to put tampons in the bathroom. Don't need to wear them yet anyway, go to health class and learn up to female body before you start wanting to be grown. Ah, uh, so, uh, of course it's Facebook. Another reason why women wear lipstick. As the age women's lips start fading and thinning out, it's a sign of declining fertility, which helps many want children to look for younger women, brightening and glossing lips in an attempt to counter-signal this reality. Or, you know, it's just to groom yourself and look nice. I, I typically have a tendency to shave. I sometimes even wear makeup when I record videos or go out on the town because it's just a way to, you know, look nice, look representable, and just to stay in nice shape. Uh, I don't think I do that to manipulate older women into thinking I am still fertile. It's just, it turns into such a comedic thing if you just switch the roles and realize that maybe that's not, like, the, the case. People can, like, enjoy dressing up nice or just taking care of themselves physically without it being some kind of mastermind manipulative strategy about the biological wars. Why do women want to be shirtless so bad? Because there's a double standard where men can have their shirts off and women can't despite them both having exact same chest nipples. Ours are flat, yours are round. Ours don't have milk. We have it somewhere else. Ha <laughs> ha! And yours do. Uh, yes, indeed. That's why men also can't go without shorts and everywhere, because that will just uncork everything and just like... Psss. It's the same thing with women, but with the booby woobies. Everyone knows that that's how it works. What a 10 centimeter dilation looks like, but you all still think... It's, you know what? Never mind. Yeah, look at that. You know, you know when it's like a log to the size where you basically pass out a blood feud when you get excited. Oh yeah, it's a struggle. Naughty is unnatural. Oh, I gotta read this one. This sounds like a goldie. The common mode for naughties is not even natural. Our genitals are not for pleasure. They are for procreation, and that occurs when two people are very much in love and wanting to reproduce. Nature takes its course when the couple are asleep, laying naked and embraced. Procreation occurs when the VJJ acting as a vacuum, drawing the flaccid PP inside to climax and eventually do the splooshies. The VJJ then releases the PP, all the while not disturbing the peaceful sleeping couple. Forceful naughties is unnatural. Are you gonna say that eating food when you're hungry and get that, you know, satisfying feeling to, to saturate yourself is also, like, sinful and unnatural and stuff? And that you do it in your sleep, you just, like, open a vacuum in your mouth and suck your refrigerator dry? Or maybe it's, you know, those good feelings is evolution motivating us to do stuff that makes us, you know, procreate and stay alive, and so on and so forth. Uh, that also correlates quite well with the fact that people uh, experience less, for example, excitement when they are stressed or distracted or suffer from other things, uh, which is why, you know, then the body tells you you should focus on this thing and this thing and not spend energy on, on reappropriating at this time. It makes kind of sense. Uh, and then in modern society, we have just taken a lot of things that give us enjoyment in nature and just reduced the, how should I put it, consequences of it. So we can enjoy, for example, intimate activities without having to care for babies every single time. We can enjoy, for example, the sweetness. You know, we really enjoy sugar in nature because it's fast carbs, it's easy energy. So we made candy, which is not the most healthy thing in abundant numbers, but it's very much playing into that role where we find those sweeteners very attractive in nature because it's easy carbs. And the same thing goes for naughties, the same thing goes for a lot of our entertainment. The same thing goes for a lot of things in society. It's just us learning to enjoy things that our bodies were taught to enjoy in nature without having to deal with the consequences of it. So, where did you find this theory? I would really like to know. <laughs> Why the freak is a 13-year-old using a tampon? Because she had her period at a beach party. Yeah, but she's a virgin. She shouldn't be using a tampon unless you're trying to pop your own cherry. What? 
I heard some guy say that abortion was wrong and I was just like, it's not your uterus. And he was like, what's a uterus? This goes for a lot of different topics in life. I find it fascinating when people are so eager to have a very strong opinion about something, but it's obvious they have never even bothered reading up on it. They just take this opinion based on like some very vague ideas and then just kind of run with it super hardcore right into the freaking wall. Ask yourself a very good question when it comes to a lot of topics that you can find yourself in debates with. Uh, what would convince you that you might be wrong in your current stance? You can ask it to a flat earther, for example. What would convince you that Earth isn't flat? And if the answer is, well, nothing, I am incredibly just 100% convinced, then there's no point in having the discussion, because it's not about factual evidence. It's about enforcing some kind of I ideology uh, or, or any other belief system, really. Um, so that's a pretty decent question. It's something important to ask yourself as well. What could convince me otherwise? And uh, when it comes to ridiculous ideas in the world, I think I could be convinced if it was actually based on something and just not based on scientific illiteracy. Um, so very good question and very good question to use on yourself as well to stay aware in the world. Because the truth is we are all wrong about a lot of things. And it's important to be able to realize that you can be wrong because that's the only thing that you will be able to learn moving forward. Someone wants to euthanize their dog because when she was put outside in heat, she found the chihuahua and had ugly puppies that cost a breeding session. When we asked what that had to do with anything, he said, The chihuahua sperm and forever in Saturn can those ugly puppies instead of the purebred. This dog was definitely not a purebred. When we said that things don't work that way, he said, I know for a fact they do. That's why my daughter is half n-word. A n-word did the force naughties my wife a while back when she was in her 20s and his stuff, manly stuff, stayed inside until mine activated it. And we all know N sperm is more violent, so it won. He was serious. I think that's the single most fricked up thing in this whole thread. These people can vote. A female marine posted about how her male co-workers went into her desk and threw away her tampons and said they were the equivalent to having condoms at work. When I say a bitch, what? My- <laughs> What? Are you serious? Me! Are you the CLIT? Her belly button. Her labiard clear- Oh no! Oh! Hi, please! <laughs> this is so- I love this meme! It's so funny! Oh my god! It's beautiful! A friend shared that he thought that women were like chickens. One day a month, we would sit on a toilet and lay an egg. Well, if they can lay eggs that hatch into ducklings, I would be super happy. Oh. Ah, oh, we can make our own ducklings. Ah, oh, beautiful world. Was today years old when I found out that the time of the month, bloodies, has tiny bits of dead baby throughout it. Found out. You mean, okay. How the frick do women deal with that and act like it's totally normal? Not against the time of the month or anything, but I just can't get my head around that. Yeah, it's probably a good thing you can't get your head around that because you should kind of toss this idea out the window, like really far, like wrap it up and like... Nah! Hello, girls. I just wanted some opinions about what to do. I'm really worried. I'm wanting another baby, but I had my placenta taken out when my daughter was born. Does this mean I can't have more children? Or do I need a placenta transplant? Thank you, Tia XX. <laughs> Joining Bad Women's Anatomy to laugh at the people who don't know about women. Joining because you also have no idea and you're trying to learn a little. No, oh, that's good. That's good. Like, like, you know, learning with comedy. R slash rant. The only reason some women have painful cramps during the time of the month is because they eat like shite and they never exercise. You can't freaking drink soda and eat junk food every day and expect your cycle to happen pain-free. Holy freaking shite! Uh, it's, um, mm -hmm, that's, yeah, the only reason. The o yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Look at the male versus female muscle guide. So here's a man standing, doing a regular form with, with some weights. Here is a woman posing, making sure to show all the curves, and we have the boob muscles as well. Isn't that just absolutely beautiful? Ah, oh, this is... <laughs> What is this workout position called for the lady? <laughs> Body count does matter! Yup, if it's too low, your partner may not have explored enough and know what slash who they like. And if it's too high, their pair bonding mechanism will most likely be destroyed completely. Man thinks like people are robots or some shit. <laughs> you should do what fits you. I know some people prefer to wait until they meet, like, the one that they want to spend the rest of their life with. For me, personally, I don't think that would have worked because I needed to go through a couple of relationships to figure out what I really wanted, what I liked, uh, what kind of chemistry worked for me, what I wanted from a relationship, so I also knew what to provide for my partner, so we both expected the same things from the relationship. And that is very important. Gaining experience will make you grow. Not only grow yourself, but grow together in partnerships. Having previous experiences isn't necessarily a bad thing. Like I said, you have to figure out what works for you and what you are looking for yourself. And that goes for a lot of things in life. But uh, universally claiming that uh, 
you know, waiting until you meet the one might not even be possible for a lot of people because you may not even know that you have met the one. I went through plenty of, like, crushes and stuff, you know, in my late teens or early 20s when I thought, like, oh my god, this is the one, I'm so in love. And then looking back at it now, I'm like, ooh, yikes, that would have never worked out, oh my god. And uh, that is an important uh, knowledge to gain. Anyway, my good. After the first box, I could see my thigh gap. And after the second box, my whole bone structure became visible. Oh, that's... That, does, that doesn't sound healthy at all. It's so easy to not get prego. With the right diet, you can keep your vaginal pH low and have that sperm motility is basically... S motility? Is basically zero. Younger generations don't learn this anymore, SMH, my SMH. I used to date a guy who thought women who were on their periods needed chocolate, like it was a medical necessity. We dated for several years and lived together, and every month he ran to the store for chocolate and tampons. I never corrected him. I regret nothing. No! Women cannot get prego with legs closed. If your legs are closed, then your potato isn't gonna get enough oxygen to optimally function. Besides, you also need lights. Uh-huh. Which you aren't gonna get with your legs closed. That is basic science. Yes, dude, we're just doing some basic pregoing here with some photosynthesis. Oh my god, who I was you impregnated by the sun? <laughs> Women are plants. <laughs> How is this different to this band tampoons now? Tampoons make Jesus cry. Every time you use one, you're violating your body, losing your virginity, and increasing your risk of ads by 200%. Have you ever been shot by Satan's bullets? All users go to Satan's bullets. Are we gonna make tampon merch on the channel now and call it Satan's bullets? And we like make them a cool little collar design such <laughs> A third 28 year old male, why would you want to marry a 28 year old female? It's beyond me. You're the start of your prime. She's at the end of hers. Her biological clock is ticking. Marry a young woman with lots of fertile years ahead of you. Be smart, not soy. I think that in most countries, uh, females typically want children a little earlier than guys, but at the same time, the span is absolutely massive. I know people who got children when they were 21. I know colleagues who got children when they were 35. It's like, and I know people who didn't get children at all. The most important thing uh, I've come to realize throughout relationships is that the partner you have is on the same kind of timeline and the same priorities as you are. If you both say, oh yeah, we want kids in five years, it doesn't matter. Like if one of you is 25 while the other one is 30 and both say, oh yeah, I want kids in five years, there you go. You're on the same timeline and it's going to work out perfectly. That's what, like one of the most important things. Finding an individual who you match with chemistry-wise, interest-wise, you have a nice functioning relationship and you're on a similar timeline in life. That is like the optimal fit. Anal. Still risky. Your splooshies can go inside the front unless you splooshy like a mouse. That's what you're saying? Ha 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 don't avoid the question. You are mocking me for not understanding the difference between a uterus and a baby. You're a grown man. Please explain to me the difference between a uterus and a baby. Okay, good. No 39 week about- Ah, oh, but 30! Or 20! Ah, oh, yes! My symptoms. A fever, fatigue, loss of taste, headaches, sore throat. My coworker. Are you prego? No, you flippin' idiot. Prego is the same as COVID. Confirmed. Men can detect who is on birth control and who isn't, and we're not attracted to those who are. <laughs> How freaky are you, though? Would you let a man use your breast milk for my protein shakes? That that sentence. Uh, all right. Why do you why do you type like this? Why does anyone type? If you type like this, I don't have the booby milk. I ain't got kids. Huh? So what's in your tits? Uh, fat? Seriously? Ra that's a maza that's why fat things have big tits in it. I guess so, yeah. Uber educational, no. A lot to digest here. Christian mothers against masturbation. Wow, what a. Okay. Happy Wednesday, make sure you're mindful of this one every way. Young men, before you spend your money on a diamond, make sure she has never self forced naughties her sin cave. Well, that is a brand new sentence if I've ever seen one. It is up to you to remember how to ask the hard questions. It's never okay to marry a masturbator. Well, I'm I'm screwed then. Her fingers are for diamond rings, not for ringing of the devil doorbell. <laughs> I can't do this. This video is over. Oh my god. I'm like sweating from this. Holy s- <laughs> Thank you for watching. You beautiful bean. You smell nice. And don't let anyone tell you otherwise. And if they tell you otherwise, move closer to them to establish dominance. But social distancing safe, of course. Goodbye. Woo!